Police say 34-year-old Luis Armando Anguiano already had a history of fraud when he and three other people allegedly walked into a business on North Colorado Street in January of 2023 and walked out with more than $1,000 worth of power tools. Four months later, police say Anguiano walked into a jewelry store at the mall and stole around $6,000 worth of jewelry. A week later, police say he did the same thing at a second jewelry store, this time getting away with a piece worth more than $8,000. Anytime we can take somebody to custody uh, and hold them accountable, it feels good to be able to do that. Police say all three businesses had surveillance video that helped identify Anguiano as a suspect. This week, they tracked him down in Pasco. My understanding is that there are other jurisdictions uh, that are working cases involving this same individual, and I would imagine that those cases will be charged as well. Anguiano is charged with felony theft in relation to the jewelry store crimes, but he is also facing charges for organized retail theft, which is also a felony in Washington. The organized retail theft charge stems from the one case at Lowe's where there was four of them colluding together. Anguiano is scheduled for arraignment, where he will formally hear the charges against him and have a chance to respond coming up next week.